Who's that? Oh, that's a beautiful voice. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very modern. Modern Western. That was it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So good to me. Ah, it's great to have you back. Uh, Kevin is here. He's uh, done it all. Actor, director, producer, musician, entrepreneur, singer. He's won Oscars, Emmys, Golden Globes. He's made highly successful movies. He's made some really good movies that maybe not have been as successful as the successful ones, but maybe have been better, but I don't want to get into all of that. Just this year, he had two movies come out with the third one, Criminal, opening uh, next year. Now he's got this thing that he's in for. And it is an unusual thing right here. It is called... The Explorers Guild. It is a fantasy adventure about a group of adventurers trying to find a mythical golden city, the Explorers Guild, was definitely a team effort. And I've got to tell you, this book is beautiful. It is, it feels like you've gone into a dusty old library, right? And That's you've pulled exactly it off right. the shelf. Also with us, needs no introduction, John Baird. <laughs> John. Uh, John Baird is <laughs> Thank here. Thank you. Where's my uh, montage? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where's my Next time. The Next reason time. you're here is yes. uh, eight years ago, you had an mm. idea. You had an idea. You're out in Hollywood, you're doing your work, trying to get things going, et cetera. That's right. And then you have this idea for this glorious return to a kind of sort of real, true but fiction idea. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved? Well, he came to me eight years ago and tried to explain this hob, this kind of cluttered story, and I, I didn't quite get it at first. I said, hey, man, why don't you come up to the house? He did a week later. We talked about it. I kind of wasn't certain about it then, but we, we dove into it, and we began exploring the story. We created 22 minutes of animation. We then stopped. After a couple of years of doing that, wrote a Western together, and then came back, and John said, I'm, I, I want to write the book of what we were doing on Explorer's Guild. So this has been an eight-year journey, and the last three and a half has been the writing of it. Now, you, like many of your passion projects, this is one where you put your own money into it, right? I mean, yeah. this, and that's how you get this done, right? I know. It, it, it doesn't want to be that way. It's not how you draw it, but it seems like it's been a pattern for me. It is. You know, and my problem is I can't fall out of love. Mm -hmm. with what it is that I love. And, and when John uh, started writing and we started uh, to work together, it was just a really magical experience. It's a highlight for me. All right. The essence of this book, for folks who are not, not understanding it, is what? It, uh, well, it's, it, it, you know, it takes place in World War I, and there's a secret society of explorers covering the globe looking for this city you mentioned, uh, this mythical city called Shambhala. And we learn that the, that the war and, and really the fate of civilization are tied in with this city and its secrets, so it's critical that it be found and that it be found by the right people. And it's just important we prevent the wrong people from getting there. So it's all about what is the city, can it be found, who will get there first, and really how do we know who should find it and who should be kept away? I don't think that's entirely clear until near the end. So the book is out now, and then of course everyone. Hey, I, I don't want to say book. We have to explain when we say book. Because it, it is a multimedia extravaganza <laughs> in a book. Kevin, you chose to go several routes with it. Yeah, well, I, I, it does set itself up for a lot of the different mediums. But you know, when we finally couldn't convince Hollywood at first, when I, they couldn't understand the story any better than I could at first, so <laughs> we had to finally commit it to paper. Um, you know, it was just it was it was just something that was you know not gonna really happen, and uh, we had to we, we decided that we we had to make this, but we decided that it would be a book. So you don't when you read this, you don't see the movie immediately. Mm -hmm. We said let's make this a novel because this this we're always looking back to our last century for the great novelists right. for that for those things that we as kids we stayed under the covers with our flashlight. You know these these stories inspired us and. So we wanted to, we're well into the century. Who's writing those kind of books? Yes. It's a book. It's a graphic book. It's an art book. It's a novel. I don't know how to describe it. Well, I don't think a book like this has been made, and yeah. uh, at least not in the last 70, 80 years. Nearly 800 pages. Yeah. Um, and you were down in the nitty gritty of writing it as well. This is not just something you put your name to. No, no, I, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. But I would. I would say the brains of the outfit are John and obviously Rick Ross. And, and I think these are two guys that next century will be looking back on. Really beautiful writers. I, uh, you know, what I do to the story is what I do to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, you've always been an adventurer at heart. Here's something I didn't know about you. You did a canoe trip, mm -hmm. recreating. The Trail of yeah. Lewis and Clark, yeah. the great explorers in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you do that? Well, I did that when I was 19. I just, uh, I had, uh, you know, I had built three canoes and they all looked like it. They were all homemade and they all looked junky, but they all floated pretty good. But I've always, you know, I've always 
most of the things I've done, I've wanted to do with other people. But if people won't go with me, I would always go myself. I worked on commercial fishing boats. I mean, mm -hmm. people talk about the deadliest catch and all that stuff. I, I did that when I was 19, 20. And here's the other thing. When you graduated from high school, you were 5'2"? No, I was 16 when I get your license, and that's when yeah. everybody likes to look at your picture, mm -hmm. and especially girls. And after about the fourth one said, you're only 5'2", I thought, give me that picture. <laughs> I, don't, and I don't want to be cute anymore. I, I, you, know. <laughs> you wanted to be the guy, not yeah, the cute yeah, little yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 5'2", so it's like, you know. What happened? What, what, what the growth Well, I just was a... I, I, I think my whole career, even my growth spurt, I'm just a kind of a late bloomer for everything. It just, mm -hmm. it doesn't always happen for me immediately. This book, The Explorer's Guild, was something that we had to labor over. Mm -hmm. That, you know, John and, and Rick and myself, and, and uh, we weren't sure anybody was going to want it. And now we're, I think, yeah, six for a days long time, in. this was the 5 2 picked on high schooler. Uh, mm -hmm. This <laughs> book was the 5 eight, 2 for about yes. eight years, and now it finally yes. comes out the full form. When did you, in working with Kevin, uh, City? When working with Kevin, uh -huh. when did you get to the point where I'm working with Kevin Costner or I'm working with Kevin, Kevin, I don't like that? Uh, well, there was, uh, obviously, there's a, if I ever stepped back and looked at it, you know, that I'm working with, with this guy, uh, I don't think it would be very productive if I was just asking him for his autograph the whole time. I kind of had to screen that part of it out. Uh, and honestly, Tone it down a bit. Yeah, Take it down a, a notch. With him, it's a very workmanlike experience. It's not a lot of beret wearing, not a lot of you know, ego, and it's, we're really just in there knocking out page after page, and it was very easy just to slip into it together. And of course, it says volume one right up there, so oh when dear, I showed yeah. it to my I son I tried to tell yeah. him, that was, that was a mistake. <laughs> I tried to tell him that, <laughs> Do, don't, that we're too far out over our skis with this <laughs> thing. Well, well, but let me bring something up here. You are the non-sequel guy. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. this industry, movie industry, you're the non-sequel guy. He's writing a book and he's already setting up sequels. Well, I want to, to the lock book. him in. Once I, I know yeah. when I'm onto a good thing. Yeah, I'm just going to put it all over. You know, eight one. years. We, we 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 have created so much material, and these characters, we you, I think you're going to really enjoy them uh, as you wait through. And we want to we're going to go back and show their beginnings. There's a lot of rabbit holes that we're going to go down. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, we 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 came in at probably 1,100 pages. We cut out 100 page. We cut out 100 panels of art. Yeah. We cut out, you know, a, a lot of stuff. So this, this, of course, is a great gift book. I think it is. You got to get yeah. two. You just can't two. do the one yeah. thing. But it is. I, it, and it's also a lethal weapon if you drop it on someone's yeah. foot. Sure. I mean, there's yeah, that's why she shouldn't handle. Well, we, we're into our second printing. We're seven days out, and that was a really nice thing for us because you know when you labor by yourself, you don't you don't know if anybody's going to care, and nobody really does until it somehow matters to them. And everything about this book from the cover that you're looking at, it's, we kind of were excited for people to take this ride with us. Yeah. There's a character, uh, B-U-C-H-A-N. Buchan, how do you pronounce it? Buchan, yeah. Buchan. Is that named after the writer? Was that Very a, good, yeah. yeah there's okay. a lot Jumping, of, uh, okay. it's, it's not the real Romana Club, but it, there, there yeah. are little things throughout, sort of sprinkled there. Yeah, you little catch nods little names Kipling here. Yeah, I see that. That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. First time you, we got that one. If it okay. does become a movie, who would you play? Ogden. You know, I'd like to Which play... Which Ogden? I'd, li I'd like to play... Uh, John, John. Okay. I'd like to play um, Renton, who's just this rascal. Yeah. But uh, that that was when I was twelve. I, I want to go back to the sequel thing. You've made a couple of movies that people just love. There's one that people particularly love called Tin Cup. Yeah. Oh. It, everybody smiles when they talk to you about that movie. Anybody else would have done Tin Cup too. Why haven't you done that? Well, I, I, it just the script never came came back. Ronnie Shelton, who wrote Bull Durham, and I mean, who who would who would Bull Durham too? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there was talk of it. It never quite happened. I hear it might be a musical. Um, the, the movies I've had have had these natural endings, but they've had characters you want to see right. go on because you you feel like when a character is drawn really well, you know they have a life after. Mm -hmm. Do you yes. know what I mean? Well, it's part and, of the experience. Yeah, yeah, it really it really is. So. I would have done them. I tell you, sequels it must be great because you just back the truck in and tell funny. people how big a shovel you want. <laughs> yeah. Of course, that's the amount of money. And, I haven't played it exactly. You've right. also had this uh, this really interesting career because it's like every couple of years, there's something happens. I don't you forget Kevin Costner. You do something as if anyone could, and and, and it's suddenly the biggest hit in the world. <laughs> do, do you have faith in that at this point? Well, I, I, I believe in stuff bigger than just my personality. I believe in story. Mm -hmm. I just do. That thing that binds us together, you know, a movie, there's a moment 
in a movie that you never ever forget. There's yeah. something in a book where you want to just pass it on. I, I, I'm a big believer in, in, in how, how we exchange. And a lot of that is, I don't know anybody, it's almost a universal mm -hmm. thing. When they hear a great song, even a great joke, a great book, the first thing they say the next day is, you know, I read the, I read yeah. the best book last night. I, I, I heard the greatest song. I, I actually, maybe that's romantic, maybe it's too much poetry, but I absolutely fundamentally believe in that. Yes. And so, and, and what happens is, when you actually present something like that, you, I'm really in love with the work part of doing that. Mm. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, a lot of people like the red carpet. I'm not immune from I, it, but I like the work part. And, and I, I, we have to wrap, but I've asked you this before. Do you sleep ever? <laughs> no, he's yeah. got seven kids. How yeah, he's yeah. got seven kids. I, I know, and, they're, and, and three of them are in the bed every morning. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, of course I do. I mean, I, I've but, had it pretty good. But you're astoundingly productive for what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a gift, I guess. It's almost genetic. Yeah, I, th I think I, you know, I, I just have, everything for me I wanted, when I got out of school, I loved recess. I loved it when that bell went off. Mm -hmm. And for me, the bell goes off, and I realize that I've been able to do the things I've wanted to do. And I'm, I, I realize how lucky I am yeah. about that. Well, Amen to that. Great to see you always, Thank Kevin. You. Thank you for coming. And John, nice John, nice to meet you. John Barry. Kevin and John will be at the Barnes & Noble at the Grove tonight, starting at 7. Then tomorrow night, they'll be at the Moss Theater as part of the Live Talks LA. That begins at 8. And the Explorers Guild Volume 1 is out now. <laughs> That's volume, right, volume 1. one. <laughs> and remember, you go into the front room, but all the action's in the back room. It's really good. <laughs>